Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post is by Sunbear99999. Do you still have the face masks? Yes, I have eight left in stock. Eight? I need nine. Unfortunately, it takes a little bit for me to get the fabric, but I can provide more as I get enough. This is not okay. Your advertisement said you had 20. If you're going to try to scam people out of their money, just say so. Scam? How am I scamming you? I'm giving you masks for free. You lied in your advertisement. No, I just ran out of stock. You filthy whore! I'm going to make sure to tell no one to buy any masks from you! I'm giving them away for free. Fine, bring them to my house! No, our business is done here. Fuck you, bitch! So how does it feel to walk around unmasked, beggar, all because of your lack of respect? This next one is by Throw Raboobs. My school's looking for a photographer for our Christmas party. But the thing is, you're going to pay us. You'll pay us to photograph people, and then you can use our party as a market or something. Am I making sense? <laughs> you're not making any sense at all. I love when beggars try to come up with these little elaborate plans to make the person they're trying to get a service from for free think they're getting a good deal when in fact they're definitely not. Luckily, this person saw through it. This next one is by Rista Ricky. The other day in Canada, a woman buying gas at a Costco had trouble with her credit card. The attendant bought her gas out of his own pocket and asked only that she pay it forward. That Costco was in Edmonton. That attendant was Les Thompson. And Les, that woman was my mother. You restore my faith in humanity, sir. My dad and I are sending three iPads and headphones to a nearby senior care facility so that folks there can visit with their families. Right now, we could all stand to be a little less afraid and a little more less. Uh, I don't want to sound like a dick, but only three? Well, the gas was between $25 and $50 likely, and three iPads, $3,000. 60 to 120 times increase in the pay it forward is pretty respectable. When this becomes a screenshot on r slash choosing beggars, please don't crop me out, okay? It's amazing how the character of somebody can be summed up so simply. You give and pay it forward, and you actually have good character but it's really easy to spot bad character because they're usually always complaining about things that have no relevance to them. Like this beggar here. This next one is by We Are Kevin. Some dumb motherfucker tried to get a discount on a kayak because it was displayed outside in the rain, as if a kayak's sole purpose isn't to be wet. To think something like that would actually work. This next one is by Lollipoppy Pop 2468 Hey, I love your art. I want a drawing. Can you draw her? Sends pick. Hi, I'm really happy to hear that. Thanks and love. Liv? Sure. What form do you want me to draw her so I can send you a matching price? Price? I hoped you could draw her for me for free because she's so beautiful. Please. I'm sorry, she's indeed beautiful, I agree, but a drawing of any kind takes time and hard work. But it'll be easy, it's so close to your style. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's just not how it works. Come on, please, just do it as a donation. Donation? Bud, it's a drawing, not a box of bread. <laughs> I'll post it on my 30k followers Instagram account. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't believe this story. So, at least I could post here some of your drawings? What? No way. <laughs> Why not? Why do you even care? At least someone will notice your art that way. I'm doing you a favor. No, you don't. I'm not interested in that. Seriously, you did not want to draw me something even though I really liked your art? 
<laughs> it's the least you can do for me. Excuse me? I don't owe you anything. <laughs> Why do I even waste my time asking you if I can post it? If I could just do it and no one will know. <laughs> Dude, listen, if you will freaking dare to do it, I will not be scared to take action against it. No face behind a screen scares me. Well, we will see. I'm going to laugh the whole time. <laughs> Are you going to be laughing the whole time when some legal action gets brought against you too? Are you going to sit in the courtroom laughing because you thought stealing was just funny? A massive joke? <laughs> Joke's on you, beggar. This next one is by Socially Awkward Bacon. I would like red rocks only. Would you be willing to pick out all the red rocks out for me? Also, I don't drive, so would need delivery to West Side. They're giving them away for free, so no, I don't think they're going to take the time to pick out all the red rocks for you on top of delivering them, too. This next one is by Prof RPNT. What I'm looking for in my woman. Long hair, nice feet with straight toes, big tits, kind, always responds to my messages fast, does not get mad if I take too long to reply, can cook good food, has own house, has nice car, not vain, good credit score, let me make decisions, does not look at other guys, says she loves me every day, good at cleaning, has good job, likes anal, is voting for Biden, let me try new sex things, respects men, is not fat, is a good dancer, is bilingual, supports LGBTQ+, likes NBA, does not have lip fillers, wears makeup always when I see them, uses air freshener in bathroom, wears pretty lingerie to sleep, good at cooking breakfast for me and I'm really thinking this shit goes on and on and on because this guy has just some ridiculous outlook on life and expectations for what should happen in his relationships and that's my review this next one is by Lil Miss Cinnabon when are you wanting to help clean hey wake up I'm pissed as fuck right now you said you were gonna help Okay, let's get a few things straightened out. I didn't sleep the day before. I spent my time from 10am to 9pm helping you move everything. I didn't go to sleep until about 5 this morning. So God forbid, I've been sleeping. Let me sleep. I need it. I'm trying to finish school, which I'm still a little behind on. I chose to spend my Friday helping you move everything, which I was blindsided. One day... How is that even possible? I think there's more to that story. Stressing out on fitting everything into cars, using my gas to go back and forth, stressing my body, which is in terrible health by the way, to move your stuff. I said I'd help today, but for fuck's sakes, it's not gonna be at 10am, especially if you know that I haven't slept. But at this point, I've done all of this, just to wake up to you spamming my phone and you telling me that you're mad? Are you serious? I'm willing to do a lot for you, and I have, but I've done all this shit without a thank you from you or your mom, and then waking up to that? I'm kind of over it to be honest. I would be too. This is just an ungrateful friend all around. They're making you pay for your gas too. They're not even offering a kickback. They can't even say thank you. I would be done with them, but that's just me. And our final post is an update to the last, also by Lil Miss Cinnabon. Why didn't you come over yesterday? Are you joking? No, this isn't a joke, Blank. I told you that I needed help cleaning and you stood me up. You never responded to my text, so yeah, I didn't come over. I took yesterday to finish school and rest. <laughs> I'm not going to respond to your selfish ass text. How dare you? You told me you'd help. I don't get why your school is more important than helping me move like you said you would. Yeah, I did. I originally said maybe, and then I said I'd be over later. You told me you had until 11pm to finish, and I was sleeping. 
as I told you, I didn't sleep the night before. Selfish? Are you serious? I did help you move. Offering to help clean your old apartment, caked with dog shit, and me being incredibly nice? And yeah, my school does come before you're moving. It's not my responsibility to move your shit, but I was nice and helped you anyway. You really need a reality check, dude. It's not my fault the dog's pottied everywhere. It's gross. I can't do it by myself. Your boyfriend had to help me because your lazy ass ditched me. Don't bother anymore. Yes, my boyfriend stepped in to take my place when I left at 10 p.m. because he's an absolute sweetheart and wanted me to go home and rest because he knows my health is bad. I assure you, he didn't want to be there at all and was on the phone the whole time with me. Oh my god, your lazy ass sent your boyfriend to do the work for you while you sat in bed on your phone? Disgusting. Don't come over anytime soon. He offered and was there for an hour picking up spare furniture. He drove me home because I didn't want to leave him with you. My health is bad. I don't know how else to tell you that. Of course I came home and laid in bed. Look, beggar, I've done a lot to help you out. But because of how this combo is going, I think I'm going to have to take a break from this friendship. I don't need this right now, and it's stressing me out. I'll pray for you and your dogs and cats. Don't bring in your stupid religion into this. Blank was just fine. You lied to me and said he didn't like me, but he obviously does. I'm going to call Blank and tell him how lazy you are and how he deserves better. How dare you judge my parenting? We're not fucking friends anymore. My religion is what got me through Friday. <laughs> Trust me, my boyfriend doesn't like you. He stepped in for my health. But go ahead, Karen. Call him. He's next to me in bed, helping me eat dinner and playing video games. Thanks for the karma, fam. Well, as an update to what I said at the end of the previous post, I wouldn't want to be friends with someone like that and I would cut it off. It looks like she did that for you, and you know what? Your life is probably going to be so much better with them out of it. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.